Hi everybody, welcome to this interview with Dr. Stefan Lunemans, responsible for acoustics at uh, Siemens Gamesa. Today we are going to talk a bit about, with you about uh, air for self noise. Yes. If I fold this piece of paper, I can say that it looks like an airfoil, mm -hmm. a wind turbine blade. Could you please explain us which are the most important sources of noise for a wind turbine? Yes, so this, uh, this uh, airfoil, you can see this as a blade section, part of a blade. Uh, and uh, this blade is moving through the air, so you have an airflow going from the leading edge over the airfoil to the trailing edge. And the most uh, important source of wind turbine noise is trailing edge noise. It's when uh, the flow passes the trailing edge, when it uh, generates sound at the trailing edge. Uh, another potential source of noise could be inflow turbulence noise. Uh, when you have turbulence in the oncoming flow, it hits the leading edge of the airfoil and that could also generate sound. Uh, of a wind turbine, but that depends on the on the on the environment around the wind turbine. If there's a lot of uh, uh, atmospheric turbulence, okay. Uh, the third potential source could be a three-dimensional effect, which is the tip of the blade. Uh, when you have a pressure difference, you could get a so-called tip vortex, the flow going from the pressure side to the suction side, and that can create also noise from the tip of the blade. Okay, interesting. So you say that the most important one is trailing edge noise. Mm -hmm. Is there any way to reduce noise yes. from this particular source? Yeah, there are different ways to reduce this trailing edge noise. One of them, the most obvious one, is to reduce the flow speed, because the sound depends very strongly on the flow speed. Uh, and that can be done by reducing the RPM of the wind turbine. Uh, the second way you could reduce trailing edge noise is by changing the shape of the airfoil in such mm. a way that you maintain the aerodynamic performance, but uh, reduce the thickness of the turbulent boundary layer. Okay. That also reduces the sound. Uh, but the most important uh, way to reduce trailing edge noise is by using blade add-ons, which can be retrofitted on a blade. Uh, and the most uh, used example of that is trailing edge serrations. And I brought one here, so this is what they look like. Okay. Uh, so it's a triangular teeth at the trailing edge, which are mounted like this. So we look like this. Basically like this. Okay. Uh, of course, in reality, the, the blades are much bigger, but uh, this is just to give an idea. Uh, and this reduces uh, the sound. And can you explain us a bit briefly how do they work? Yes. So normal trailing edge noise, if you have a straight trailing edge, then uh, the turbulence passes the trailing edge at a straight angle. So there's a large discontinuity. Like this, okay. Yeah. Uh, if you add the serrations, then uh, the, the turbulence passes the, the trailing edge at an angle, at an oblique angle. Uh, and this reduces the efficiency of the acoustic radiation. Okay, nice. And is there a way to improve somehow the actual trailing edge serration that you showed us? Yes, it's interesting you ask, <laughs> because I brought uh, our latest uh, noise reduction technology, which uh, looks like this. So we still have the teeth here, but we also have uh, finer combs in between the teeth. Uh, and what uh, the, this uh, concept is actually inspired by the silent flight of the owl, the bird. Uh, it can fly much quieter than other birds. Uh, and people think it's because of special features on the wings of, a, of an owl. And we try to mimic this uh, natural feature uh, by applying these combs in between the teeth, and that gives us an even larger noise reduction than with the standard uh, serrations. Okay, really nice, interesting. So, thank you. Uh, thank you Thanks. for being with us and for your time. It was uh, really interesting to learn about this. Uh, You're welcome. Thanks again for watching us.